Hi folks, I have dug up another shortwave recording that I only discovered in my archives recently. But this one needs a word of explanation. It is from July 1973 and is a short recording of Radio Nepal operating on 5000 kHz in the 60 metre tropical band. Now as many of you will be aware, the American Standard Time and Frequency Stations, WWV and WWVH, also operate on 5 MHz. However, domestic listeners in the mountainous regions of Nepal would not have heard any interference from these time signal stations. But for keen DXs and shortwave listeners in other parts of the world, Nepal's decision to sit on the exact same frequency as WWV and WWVH meant that QRM was going to be a real detraction to any sustained listening to Radio Nepal. This QRM was exacerbated because Radio Nepal's transmissions were not always on exactly 5,000 kHz, resulting in a low frequency but nevertheless very audible rumbling a heterodyne whistle. Just being a few hertz off the exact frequency of 5,000 kHz was enough to create this heterodyne between Nepal and the time and frequency stations. As mentioned earlier, this recording comes from 1973. During 1974, the station moved to 5007 kHz, which resolved this interference problem. In those days, Nepal's 60 metre outlet was transmitted from Joalakal, just south of Kathmandu, with a registered power of around 5 kilowatts. A few years later, the station finally settled on 5005 kilohertz. Last September 2018, there were reports of the station returning to 5005 kilohertz after a very long absence, but these transmissions proved to be short-lived. Then more reports surfaced in February of this year of the station running test transmissions, but again, the station appears to have disappeared from the frequency. However, it is worth watching 5005 kilohertz in the hope that we will spot its return sometime again in the future. What you will hear in this brief recording from 1973 is an excerpt of a Nepali song, then a second excerpt that includes a closing down announcement and the Nepali national anthem. At the end of the anthem, the transmitter stays on the air for a few seconds before being switched off, leaving uh, the time and frequency stations clearly audible. One final point here. The national anthem is in this recording is not the current one. The anthem heard here was used from 1962 until May 2006, near the end of the monarchy of the King of Nepal. So, there's a bit of history in this recording. Thanks for watching.